Good morning. This is a, your morning drive with Divine Sunshine. Uh, just coming with you with a channeled message. Uh, pretty much today is the day in which uh, with my house, my parents' house rather, uh, they are actually signing the, the papers today. Sign over my childhood home from myself uh, and to the new owners. Uh, last night, my mom and I, we walked through and just blessed the house and said, let it be a blessing for the next person who receives and gets the um, gets the house. Uh, as we turned out every light, we saying that that was like us turning the light out for what things that we had occurred and had happened in the home. I told you that the, pretty much that home had like its ups and downs. Uh, but uh, there were some good times in there and the Divine Masculine keeps reminding me, he was like, you know, just remember the good times that you have in there when you pass by there. Because the beauty part is I pass by my old childhood house every day going to work and coming back. So he was saying, you know, don't think of it in a negative way. Just think about the memory. So I said, you know, I can say hi house, bye house when I pass by. Uh, this brings up to me about us being able to release. Uh, I'm seeing that pretty much even with ourselves and everything, I'm thinking also one of the key things and principles that we got to learn is learning how to just release things. Uh, we want to keep on harboring and hanging on to what the Divine Masculine had did to us uh, in the past. We want to kind of hang on to things that have been done to us as far as in um, childhood memories and things of that sort and uh, things that even we've done ourselves or what have been done to us. And we have to kind of get to the point that we remembering and knowing that, you know, if it was for our highest good, it would still be there. Uh, even with our counterparts, those people that, uh, you know, decided to go on ahead and go and continue on with their karmic situations or their, um, you know, the lessons that and the blessings that they get in on the third party situations, uh, we just have to kind of remember that if we would actually get those people in, in the manner and the way that they were, uh, they would we really wouldn't be able to sustain the relationship. And I pretty much have told you all that uh, before. Uh, I even could notice that for my divine masculine as well, that I see a lot of growth now, even being underneath um, the situation that he is in now. Uh, and so those are some things that we got to kind of pretty much keep in mind as far as when we're talking about releasing. We just had the 1212, which was transformation. Those energies brought about change, a push for change. Looking and seeing about what things that we need to change because 12 represents divine order. And one and two together is the alignment of spirit, soul, and body, the Trinity, the coming together of all celestial things or energies as well. Or you could say syzygies what I call my uh, group that I have that uh, has the playground experience, which is composed of three of us, uh, Abel, myself, and uh, Kathy D. So we have to start thinking now as far as what are we doing in order to help to create this uh, release? What is this that we're creating, this new transformation or this new change within us? Oh, I see the word say science. It is. It is a science to it. It is a method to it. We can't at this time do it haphazardly or at random. One way in which we could do that is again is changing our mindset. I keep on saying that on there because of course on this show I give you the keys to union, which is keep energizing yourself until into into union. Um and so one way of doing that is we've got to change as far as what it is. Uh, today's word, and I will post that later on, is ossified. Ossified means to have a state of belief that you're not moving. It's so concrete that it's 
pretty much stale than thoughts. And what is it that we're concrete in our belief systems that we like, hey, you can, I shall not, like a tree planted by the water, we shall, we shall not be moved. Like, we shall not, we shall not be moved. So what is it that you're protesting? However, in some ways, the universe is giving you that push. They have been gently pushing you, but now they're kind of giving you that push to say, okay, nah, that's kind of enough. Okay, <laughs> you, this kind of thought is not working. Okay, look at what is pretty much manifesting in your life. So, in order for us to do that, I thought about the first time, I feel like I hear Roberta Brian, first time ever I saw your face. So the first time I ever saw the Divine Masculine, and I think when we went out on a date, uh, the first time with that one, he pretty much gave me the keys as to what I needed to work on, and I pretty much gave him the keys about what he needed to work on. I say that it's really crucial that I give you all that go back and your first chance meeting with your divine masculine and really look and see about did he or did she leave you any type of clues there that let you know mm, this is something you got to work on. I know with my divine masculine self he told me that, uh, you know, he said, oh, I love the way you're thinking because we had, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep safeguarded, but you read in between the lines. Uh, but anyway, so after the date, uh, he was telling me, I was sitting there thinking about pondering over the whole night. And he could tell I got kind of quiet and I checked out. And because there was a lot of things they experienced that happened uh, during that uh, angel had appeared some uh, uh, on our date. I seen that. I still say that. Um, I seen him shape shift in front of me. He was one way and he shifted into something else. That is also a gift that um, Twin Flames and Divine Unisouls have. Uh, and so my mind was like what the heck is going on with this this relationship is not like anybody else's this is when i'm with him i feel at home i feel at peace this is a piece of ah, a zen moment like i've never had before with any other guy what is this pondering pondering thinking thinking he caught me he looked over at me while he was driving his lad oh he said what's going on i said i'm just thinking he said i love the way you think some kind of way when he had said that sent something down into my solar plexus or my sacral and I was like mm, that means something that's the key and after I thought about it and I thought about it and I came back to this morning and said you know your divine masculine gave you the key to tell you what the main thing that's going to work to help you get in union get your thinking together get your thinking right and I believe that's something that's really collectively as far as us as far as in this divine unisoul's journey, we got to get the thinking together. Uh, divine feminines, we definitely are in our headspace. They might be the divine masculine self energy represents analytical mind, which is the thinking, but then we also think as well. And that's pretty much within us housing that divine masculine self is something that within us, we got to kind of tinker and tweak and get that together. In the divine mask itself within i call it the first 72 hours he revealed within me which would be like the first part of the day that um he did some decisions <laughs> during the course of us coming together that i was like this ain't really smart uh i tell him i end what i was doing i was really playing and pushing him off and then me brushing him off he started kind of like looking at other people and right there dead in front of my face and I was like mm, this ain't gonna kind of work out here because don't seem like you're interested if you're interested in me no matter how you know I'm playing hard to get chase me and go on ahead and then keep on pursuing me don't just kind of like give up and go on to someplace else well anyway later on he was regretful of what he had did he seen that it turned me totally off I was like I ain't got no time for that 
I'm looking for a serious relationship at that time. And I was like, mm-mm. So, uh, it told me, I called him on some things and right there. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm not, I don't even know this guy for a can of pain. I was like, yada, yada, why would you do this? What were you doing? Da, 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 da. And he was, you know, of course, lying and not telling, not being truthful at that time. And I was like, mm, okay. So, in that 72 hours, his thing is learning to stand and, and being in his truth and then watching the way of the decisions that he makes right there in the beginning so like i said i give to you all the, the things sit down meditate and say what is some clues that in uh the higher self in our 3d expression had pretty much had told us about what things we need to check next thing also we got to kind of really we also have to watch uh, the wording and the way in which we're seeing in our perception of this relationship. Um, in the classroom, I am teaching the kids about pronouns, using the I, we, us, me, those things. What type of pronouns are you using when you are in regards to this divine unisoul's relationship, this partnership? Are you using a lot of I, me, you, that also is using a lot of separatism. That's, that's giving, creating separation right there by the choices of the words. That's why I say we got to think about it. The key thing is, is the thinking. Their key thing is in the physical world is the choices that they're making. That's the first thing he, he told me, the Divine Master. And I said, you know what? I'm going to start the interactions that I had with the Divine Master and the keys that he gave me that between us i'm passing it on so what is the i the the, the uh, pronouns that you're using when you're doing that is oh is his problem that's him that's all about her that's all about her you that's your thing you know those things start again i say the 30-day challenge i like my challenges because it helps to set the mindset my thing is about about the mind being an educator changing it 30 days, every time when you think about your divine counterpart or your divine partner or your divine self being expressed outside yourself is me. Yeah, we need, we, we, we got to we gotta change the mindset. We got to stop being in the current situation. We got to make these changes. It's about us. You know, no more of them, you, or whatever like that. It's more of a thing of mindset of taking it in for ourselves. Um, that's the main thing that I really want to bring. So I'm going to put that and post that in the community tab. The challenge, the mindset, changing the mindset from is you, is him, is they problem, to we and us. Like I say, this is us. I said that on my show, but I'm really putting it down that that's what we really got to actually. What is going on here? Why are we so slow? Uh, I guess it's say, because we want you to keep on <laughs> talking because uh, I'm almost at work. Uh, so that is a major change. We got to shift our reality. And the way we shift our reality is with our words. Our words are power. But life and, uh, uh, life and death it's in the power of the tongue. Uh, and so that is very, it's essential that we change our mindset now that it's really us coming together. No more he, she, it, you kind of uh, things like from um, my cousin Vinny, the two use, the use. We ain't doing, we not, we not coming from that. Thank you. What's going on up here? Oh, there's something going up there. Uh, no more of that mindset, okay? Uh, just remembering again. Just remember again, this, this 20, uh, 20 thing that we're getting into is really truly getting into the identity of who you are. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, no, no more of this playing around. We got to get on our mission and our purpose. Start really getting on what we need to do. We're not, as Jubilee 11, 11 said, we ain't hustling. But we really getting our movement on as far as creating some changes in the atmosphere and uh, how we're creating and manifesting uh, these things. You know, we got to get really dead set on this union thing, no matter how it looks, because I thought about that too as well. I said, my parents, going back to my parents, really taught me 
really hard that if things didn't go the way you wanted to, you or that person would have acted in the way you were. That's first uh, between both of my parents, my mother and my father. You brush it off, you push it away, you say, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. Say you don't want to have, I'm sorry, uh, I, I did come out my third 3D cell. <laughs> I don't want to have anything uh, to do with it. And that is a major part that we've got to learn how to embrace it, look at it and say, okay, how can I change it? What could I do differently uh, with the choices that, although this person is making different choices than myself, that doesn't mean to kind of like just throw it away and say, forget it. And I see that even in the collective that's going on. Remember, we are light workers. We shine a light on ourselves so that we'll we be able to shine a light on other people as well. So that way it would create that, um, I know it's half up, that newness of us um, being able to shine. It's going to help out the world totally. Um, them, it, the totality of this whole thing of changing the world, changing the way in which we love. And so we have to kind of keep that in mind as well, that that is our purpose here is to create the change of the mindset and how our actions and how we love as well. I just see somebody hug somebody. So on that note, I'll say uh, have a great and wonderful weekend. May it be sunshine feel uh, again. And so stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste, namago. Mm -hmm. Love you.